Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Coco Sports. It's where the world comes to cash, home for combat sports, and above all, where it's okay to be a passionate fan. I am the huge one, aka the idiot Dave Coco from DaveCocio.com, and I have the most important question that you have ever been asked on the social medias. Are you sitting down? Are you bracing the wall? Make sure there's no loved ones around. I'm about to ask you the most important question you've ever been asked. G1 Climax, New Japan, night two. Do you give it a win, loss, or tie? What did you think of the show? Win, loss, or tie? Put it down in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe as we defeat the algorithm. <laughs> I don't know how the internet works. Anyway, uh, uh, this is late, but to make up for it, on twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports, we'll be doing a watch party of night three tonight. Also, Coco Sports, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. That's where you can find me these days. YouTube. I gotta get back into YouTube shape, baby. I gotta get back into YouTube shape. Um, overall, I give it a, I give it a win, but a lot of these are like charity wins. I'm gonna be a hundred percent with you. The G1 has had competition every fucking night in Japan. And every night it was the second tier show. Every night. Tokyo Yoshi Pro is fucking impressing me beyond belief. Noah is fucking dominating. So like in ring wise, the king of sports ain't the best of Japan. The number one company in Japan isn't the number one company. So I don't know. It's at the point where it's like, yeah, they're wins, but they're like pity wins. They're like, yeah, you won, but uh, Wrestle Universe had a better show than you. You won, but Noah outdrew you. You won, but... <sighs> so, I'm, I'm giving it a pity win. <sighs> and maybe I'm just getting too nice in my old age. I know everyone in the YouTube, especially in the DMs, fucking perverts. Listen, if you DM me, you're a pervert. Put that shit in the comments so it helps us out, you perverts. Anyway, <laughs> let's break it down as best we can. New Japan G1 Climax 2022 Night 2 Quick uh, Match Results. I'm reading this off tpww.net. No affiliation whatsoever. They just do a great job laying everything out for the old man who doesn't have the best of memories. You get David Finley and Yoshihashi defeat Royce Isaacs and Filthy Tom Lawler via Trash Panda. Uh, 730. Listen, 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 I've watched you from day one. I saw you fight in the mixed martial arts. I saw, I saw you fight, wrestle on the Florida Indies. Why? Why can't just great, why can't there be one company where great athletes are great athletes? We don't have to fucking see ass. We don't have to see fucking horrible comedy. Why can't we just have one fucking company that's like, hey, this is the king of sports. Hey, this is the best of the fucking best. All right, we already have Taguchi. We already have fucking, yeah, no, we're good. We're good on comedy. Matter of fact, take Taguchi with you. Just come here and kick ass, dude. We get it. You got short shorts and they turn into shorter shorts. Listen, 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 boys, 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 boys. Coming close, coming close. If you were in New Japan, hear me out on this one. We have to watch this every fucking night. All right, now maybe, maybe night one. Yeah, maybe the short shorts fucking kill. Maybe in night one, the back rate kills. Maybe in night one, fucking Taguchi's ass, fucking hilarious. I doubt it, but maybe. At night 476 in a row? Holy fuck. They're not being quiet because they're studying the short shorts. They're not be the audience isn't being quiet. They're being quiet because it's fucking boring. It's boring as fuck. All right. Listen, Tom, it's night two. We got it. You got short shorts. Bring more to the fucking table, man. And I know you can. You know you can. I know you can. Let's turn this bad boy around. You got El Fantasmo and Bad Luck Fale. Uh, defeat Taka and Lance Archer. Alpha Tasmo can only have good matches when he goes under, so that was an average at best. 
You have United Empire defeat the House of Torture. I'm not going to fucking review it. It's the same fucking match over and over. They never fucking do anything new. I'm done. I'm done. You've fucking seen them one. You've seen them all. The fucking House of Torture. You've fucking seen it. It's over. They have nothing. It's over. That show is over. Okay? Fucking it's a House of Torture match. Fucking, wow. Congratulations. Uh, you got Jade and Tunga uh, versus Chase Owens and Jay White. They defeat, okay. There's a little typo here. I trusted you, TPWW.net. I trusted you. I don't have the best memory in the world, and I trust you. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's edit this for them. Chase Owens and Jay White defeat Jado and Tama Tonga. Uh, I wonder if Jado took the pin. I probably fucking forgot, but he did. Then you got Goto, Tanahashi, false advertisement. Okada's not really there. Uh, defeat uh, LIJ. Okada's not there. Where the fuck did Okada go? I got to rewatch this. I, I, I have to rewatch this. The match is over. I, fucking Okada just magically appears from the back. Did that motherfucker just go take a piss, take a shit? Did he fucking take a phone call? I don't know. I'm going to rewatch the match again because fucking Team Chaos wins and Okada just comes out the back like, oh, fuck, I'm still working. I don't know. I know I've been a little hard on Okada, but when you see the greatest fucking wrestler of all time piss away his career because he married a wealthy woman it kicks you in the fucking nuts you'd rather have him fucking retire and all that but a lot of people are like oh you're so fucking negative vince said it best go back vince went back to watch ring of honor briscoes and okada and i think it was tanahashi don't quote me he went back and go watch that yeah dude he gave up a lot of people are like no way okada still the best go Pick any fucking random match in Ring of Honor, a AW, fucking, well, he didn't really wrestle at AW, but New Japan. Go. Go back. Go watch him wrestle Kenny Omega. Go. You think he's going to fucking... Eat? Anyway. Got to be positive. I'm positive he fucking gave up on life. Okay? Uh, he might have everything, but deep down inside, he's fucking depressed. Just fucking retire and walk away, brother. All right, now the tournament matches, baby. The tournament matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the only matches that fucking matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. G1 Climax B Block. Taichi defeats Ishii 15 minutes in. I know, I'm shocked too. Bear's like, what? She wasn't talking about this. <laughs> uh, this is the question I'd be going with Twitch. Is Tai Chi getting better and is he good? Or is our standards for the king of sports so fucking low that Tai Chi is a fresh breath of fresh air? That's that's what keeps me up at night. You're like, dude, Dave, you never fucking sleep, dude. You're retired. You're always working all the time. Why don't you try to get some fucking Z's? I'm like, I can't. I'm like, dude, why? Is it because you fucking had a rough childhood? No, 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 no. Is it because you fucking, you know, ha had a fucking rough life? No, 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 no. Is it because you served in Marine Corps Infantry? No, 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 no. What keeps you up at night? I was like, you really want to know? I'm a little fucking embarrassed by this. But I just stare at the fucking roof. And I look deep into my, to the only... <laughs> It's going to go really fucking dark, but I'm not going to go that dark. Rewind. You guys don't like when I get that dark. I just stare at the roof and I fucking wonder, ah, where did my life go wrong? Is Tai Chi a good wrestler or our standards drop so much that everyone else fucking sucks? We know Okada has come down. We know Naito is duct tape. Tanahashi's at the age of 498. Is he improving or are we getting worse? And Bear, Bear Friend just rolls over and like, you got to let it go and go to sleep. I'm like, I can't. I can't let it go. I can't let it go. Is Tai Chi improving or are we getting worse? This is what keeps me up at night. Overall, not a bad match for New Japan standards. Next, you got the worst fucking book. You get, you get, okay, 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 okay. Ghetto, sit the fuck down. What, what the fuck we doing here, boys? What the fuck we doing here? What the fuck are we doing here? G1 Climax 2022 A Block match. Worst book fucking match ever. You got Yano defeat Jonah. Why? 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 His first fucking match. He's supposed to be a monster. And he loses to Yano. Oh, so many upsets. Listen, dickface. If there's 50 fucking upsets in a tournament, they're not upsets. It's bad booking. 
Jonah has to prove to the fucking J Japanese audience and to New Japan fans around the world that he could fucking go. And in nine minutes, he loses to Yano in a fucking comedy match. Oh, is this the monster block? All right, no. I, you're expecting monster block like Godzilla vs. King Kong. This is monster block like Scooby-Doo unmasking a fucking idiot in a Frankenstein mask. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit and you know this is a bad fucking idea. Holy fuck, dude. What the fuck? Yay. So fucking Jonah loses to fucking Yano. Opening night. You know, if it's in the middle of the tournament, go fuck yourself. You know you gotta have upsets. First night. Oh, well, fuck it, dude. Just let Yano win the A block. Let's just fucking pack it up. We are Noah. We are Noah. Holy fuck, dude. Fucking embarrassing. I don't fucking know what to say, except this is probably the worst decision. Because here's the thing. The talent stopped trying. Let, let's look at New Japan as a whole. The booking was horrible. The talent stopped trying. The booking improved. The talent stopped trying. And Yano defeats Jonah. Let's fucking pack it in, boys. It's over. Let's pack it in. It's over. Oh, there's an upset. Didn't fucking see that coming. <sighs> All right. Let's go to C block. C block. I thought this was the match of the night. Um, they started off hot as can be and then slowed down. L l Hold on. I'm not going to disrespect this match. I'm going to disrespect all the matches. It is night fucking two. It is your first fucking match. Stop with the double downs. Stop selling like it's night 42. This is your first match in the fucking tournament. And you're like, double down, double down. For those that don't know what a double down is, it's when two fucking idiots need to take a fucking break instead of shortening a fucking match or having a good double down like goddamn Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair because they fucking knew how to do a double down and knew how to fucking work a crowd. Instead, it's two fat, lazy fucking fox that just sit there and be like, well, we gotta have a fucking 21-minute match. Oh, we gotta have a fucking 40-minute main event. Holy fuck, shorter matches, you pieces of shit. It is night one. Why is everyone tired? Why? Because your wrestlers have given up on you and they're fucking lazy. All right, that's the whole fucking card. I'm thinking about counting, dude. The Okada was fucking ridiculous. Even, fuck, man. Anyway, it started off like it was going to be a wrestling match. Holy shit, Zack Sabre Jr. and Kenta can still go when they want to go. Zack Sabre Jr.'s been at it. And then, all of a sudden, holy fuck, in a blink of an eye, they're old men. Uh, they're fucking selling everything. They're like, oh, I'm so old. Oh. It was still match of the night, but just shorten your matches, New Japan. If your athletes ain't going to fucking try, shorten the matches. If Okada isn't going to show up and he's going to be false advertisement, just let him go. Let him go. You can't outdraw Noah. What the fuck? Is he drawing fucking crowds? What the fuck? Every fucking company that is on this goddamn island seems to be out wrestling. Except all Japan. Let's not get fucking ridiculous now. <laughs> but most companies are out wrestling you. You're living off reputation alone. And fucking 20, mat 20 minute matches where most of it is fucking filler. Just have shorter matches, bro. Have shorter matches. Anyway, this is match of the night. I didn't mean to fucking go off on it, but it started off so fucking hot. And then out of nowhere, they're like, we're tired. I'm like, All right, well, then fucking bring it home. Bring it home, dude. You don't have to go 20 minutes. Um, they did insult each other. They stiffed. And it, here's the thing. Both of these men, in my eyes, are so close to being superstars. Both of these men, in my eyes, are about to be what it is. Zack Sabre Jr. got rid of the stupidity. Zack Sabre Jr. has been busting his fucking ass. I think the last five appearances in New Japan by Zack Sabre Jr. have been better than his whole fucking career. Better than his whole fucking career. He got rid of stupid fucking submissions that would never work. He put some fucking pep in his step, and he's just fucking busting his ass. Zack Sabre Jr., listen, I'll throw you under the fucking bus, and I'll also fucking praise you. Last five matches have been amazing. Kenta... Leave the memories alone. Remember when you were Noah? 
let's just let's have a moment of silence so we can just remember. And then you went to NXT. You got ran over by Rikishi. Does anyone know who ran over uh, Kenta? I'm going to say Rikishi until someone corrects me. Um, yeah, so there you go. Zack Sabre Jr. does defeat him. What a triangle choke. This was match of the night. I hate to be so negative, but I just like halfway through the match. I'm like, why are they tired? Are they fat fucking writers? Are they fat fucking YouTubers? Are they fat ass Twitch streamers? Are they me? You know, fuck, are you fucking athletes? Or are you fat fucking nerds? Anyway, Zack Sabre Jr. defeats Kenta. Match of the night. I know I went on a little bit of a rant there. I apologize to Zack Sabre Jr. and Kenta because that was more directed towards all New Japan than you. But you still, out of nowhere, know what it is? Wait a second, boys. Think about it. I figured it out. <laughs> this is going to be stupid. If you want to fast forward this segment, understandable. It's Shredder. And he has a fucking tired ray. And about six minutes into every New Japan match, Okada, he hits that shit right away. It's just like, he hits the button. He's like, Bzzz. And then out of nowhere, you're just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like, bro, it's been three minutes. The fuck is going on? Jesus fucking Christ. King of sports, my ass. Zack Sabre Jr. defeats Kenta in match of the night. I'm sorry, Zack Sabre Jr. and Kenta. Your match was match of the night, and I'm still fucking shitting on the whole company. Next, you got Juice Robinson defeats Shingo. Um, all right, you know, it was free television. They're hoping North American audience is watching. Juice Robinson defeats Shingo. I think Shingo is the only guy that can keep this company afloat. I think Shingo and Jay White is the... Iron Sheik of this company fixing itself. And um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, Juice Robinson, you used to be something special. And now you're everybody. You're literally everybody. Do you have the leather jacket? Do you hate the fucking fans? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Remember when you were original and you were over? Those were good days. Remember when you fucking sold? Oh, that's now. Oh, wow. There, I mean, I, I think this is groundbreaking. I mean, there's no one in New Japan or Japan that wears leather jackets and act like an asshole to the crowd that the crowd doesn't react to. Uh, that This is fucking groundbreaking. Never been fucking done before. AJ in the Twitch chat had it the best. <laughs> Prince Devitt got over and Ghetto's like, all right, everyone act like <laughs> Prince Devitt forever. That's it. That's what happened. <laughs> Prince Devin got over, and then fucking Ghetto's like, ah, fucking got over. Let's fucking run that shit into the ground. And now everyone gets to pretend to be Prince Devin. There you go. Uh, let's see. One, two. I'm trying to think. Three, four, five, six. Oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I'll say eleven and a half. Give it a chance. Tom Lola will put on a thing. Eleven fucking people have your gimmick on tonight's card alone. Eleven people have your gimmick. On tonight's match alone. Tonight's listing. Yeah, remember when you rocked the Tokyo Dome with Cody Rhodes and you were loved by everyone? Welcome to being everyone else. Welcome to being everyone else. Uh, overall, not a bad match. Just, just make the matches shorter if you're going to double down. Listen, if your name isn't fucking Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, don't fucking do double downs because you don't know how to fucking do it. <laughs> you fucking don't. All right. Double downs ain't fucking for you to check your phone. Double downs are not for you to fucking call your mother. Double downs are not there to fucking take a piss break. Double downs are fucking something that makes the match exciting. If you do 800 of them in one card, it's called stalling. Ah. <laughs> uh. I bet you Okada's doing a double down right now. He is. 
I still give it a win, but I want it to be the best in the world. And I know people are sensitive to like, you can't critique something I love. That's how you get Thor fucking thunder paradise with Hogan. I don't know. It's the new MCU movie, but yeah. Yeah. There we go. I give it a pity win. It's just, you could be great. You know what I mean? It, it's like you are a teacher and you see a kid who can fucking get straight A's and go to Harvard. And instead he fucking, I, I don't even know. I mean, what would it be? I mean, you just give up on life. You're like, hey, what's going on, buddy? You going to Harvard? Nah, I'm just going to lay in bed all day. Oh, cool, man. Cool. Um, So you think about going to Yale? Nah, just me and my friend. We're going to lay down in bed all day. You can be one of the greatest human beings on planet Earth. You can change the way fucking society is viewed. You have the potential to change the world. Nah, nah, I'm not going to. I'm going to do the bare fucking minimum. Listen, if you hate your fucking job. And you fucking are like, hey, man, I fucking really hate my job, but I fucking need cash to pay fucking rent. Understandable. Understandable. Put in the Okada level of efforts. Don't even, like, fucking literally show up. Go look at, I think it was night one. It was this month. Go look at Okada break up a pinfall. There was one where that motherfucker literally did not want to get in the ring. He, like, walked in. I am not making this up. We walked in and went, and walked out that's the effort if you hate your job that's the effort you gotta put in you know don't quit your job pull an okada don't fucking take time off regroup pull an okada never try again do the bare fucking minimum so that you can get your paycheck that's called pulling an okada you can do it i believe in you i believe in you all right just do the bare minimum why work hard? Why am why why better your life when you can be Okada? You know? He's like this generation's Hulk Hogan. You know? <laughs> eat your double eat your double. Uh, fuck it, I'm done. Uh you know what? I'm going back. I'm I'm giving this a tie. I'm giving it a tie, dude. I'm a little too cranky. Yeah, I'm I'm tired of pity wins. All right, let's look at tonight's card. We will be doing uh, twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports Watch Party, and this is when they're going to turn it around. <laughs> Here's the thing. Everyone I know that covers New Japan isn't covering the event tonight. Japanese, American, it doesn't matter. I'm like, hey, man, you want to cover night three with me? No. Are you going to break down night three? No. All right. All right, here I am, you motherfuckers. Uh, the Mighty Don't Kneel, Bad Dude, Tina, and Jonah. Uh, fucking, what does it matter? You're fucking a disgraced Jonah now. In the kayfabe sense of the word. Go against Isaac and filthy Tom Lawler. Oh, I wonder if he's going to wear short shorts. And then you got the United Empire with Will Ospreay going against Dick Togo Show, Alpha Tasmo, and Evil. Oh, wow, that's got a horrible match. I go United Empire. Uh, I say the Mighty Don't Kneel just because what's the point of life? You got Yoshiashi and Okada. Sorry, versus Oiwa and Yano. Why? Why is this fucking happening? It, hasn't this happened already? I don't fucking know. Who fucking cares? Who the fuck's going to try? All right. How much do you think o Oiwa is going to be the only fucker in there trying? Yano's not going to try. Yoshihashi might. Okada, I fucking, I'll be, I'll be damned if he spends half the time on the ring apron. I'll be damned. I'll be like, damn. Holy shit. This is going to be the most entertaining New Japan match of all time for all the wrong reasons. Find out how many double downs there are and look how little they try. Boy, well, you're going to have to carry. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so fucking horrible. That's going to, oh, he going to do all the work and then get pinned. Your winner, Shoshiashi and Okada. Life's not fair. Life's not fair. Next, you got Fujita, Ishii, and Tanahashi going against Juice, Kenta, and Jay White. They're the same three people. Juice Robinson, Kenta, and Jay White are literally the same people. Uh, they wrestle differently, but their character's the same person. 
if you wrote a book or you wrote a comic book and let's say it was Bullet Club and you did it like X-Men. That was pretty good, Bear. Did you hear that X-Men? By the way, Bear can do the best X-Men ever. You want to do it now? No. Oh, so embarrassing. Anyway, if if this was your X-Men, literally it would be like, holy fuck, they're the same person. But like, ah, oh, no, they wrestle a little different. Yeah, but they're the same fucking person. No, 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 they're completely fucking different. This one, this one is, I don't even know. How would you tell them apart? I mean, I guess you can go the race route. Maybe their history route, their age. How would you tell them apart if it was a comic book? And God forbid if they were all masked superheroes, how are you telling them apart? Like one slaps, one kicks, and the other one fucking says he's the best. How would you tell them apart? How? If you if they came out as the three fucking idiots and they were completely covered, like the Conzisadors, whatever the fuck Edge and Christian's fake tag team was. If they came out like Nintendo NES Starman. If they came out covered from head to fucking toe, how would you know they were different? Yeah, they wrestle a little bit different. And even then, you would have to squint. You're like, oh, I think that's juice. Oh, go to sleep. That's definitely Kenta. All right, Jay, he's ducking the fucking elbows. Ducking the elbows. Ducking the elbows. All right. But overall, they're pretty much the same fucking person. Jesus. At least the Ninja Turtles put on different bandanas, for Christ's sake. I... Yeah, fucking the the three the three amigos, the three of the same fucking dude. Oh, oh my god! If I wasn't a fucking lazy cunt, if I wasn't the Okada of YouTube streamers, know what I'd do? I'd have Juice Robinson, Kenta, and Jay White pointing at each other like the Spider Mans. <laughs> Is there anyone that can fucking not be as lazy as me and put in a little bit more effort than my Okada level effort? And put Juice Robinson, Kenta, Jay White. Hell, dude, you can put everyone. Literally every foreigner there. Except maybe Jeff Cobb. Give Jeff Cobb give Jeff Cobb his due. Just everyone is in Spider-Man pointing at each other. Like, I'm the evil foreigner. No, I'm the evil foreigner. <laughs> anyway, the evil foreigners are going to win. Kenta's like, I, I, I'm Japanese. Shut the fuck up, dude. You stop trying. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Jesus Christ, you're the original Okada. Next, you got Bushi, Sonata, and Shingo versus Taka, Taichi, and Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, you know, it might be a decent match. Who fucking knows? You got Shingo. Sonata might have to prove something. Taichi's improving. Ooh, who would have thought in this day and age? You know, if you go back four or five years when New Japan was good, who would have thought saying Taichi has a brighter future than Sonata would be a legit statement? Zack Sabre Jr., hopefully you steal the show. Have a great fucking match. All right, next, the tournament matches, and this is all that matters. All right, you got Finley versus T Takahashi. Less is more, less is more. You don't have to have the biggest G1 if you don't have the talent. I want to say David Finley because foreigners always say he has potential. He's got potential. All right, let's see it. You got Tamatanga versus Chase Owens. Hopefully Tamatanga wins that. You got Lance Archer versus Bad Luck Fale. I'm starting to see why Rick doesn't want to do tonight. I'm starting to see why a lot of people are fucking bailing on night three. Lance Archer versus Bad Luck Fale. All right, hopefully Lance Archer wins that. In the main event, you got Goto versus Naito. Uh, Naito isn't 100%. The reports say he is. But have you seen that motherfucker walk <laughs> to and from the ring? He's like, ah, dude, don't worry. We fixed Naito's eyes. Don't worry. His knees ain't fucking shot. <laughs> and then he walks to the ring like. Holy shit. Naito is put together by duct tape. Uh, I think Naito's still popular. And I think if he walks to the ring and doesn't fall apart, he should win. But I'm going to go with uh, Goto wins this one. I'm going to go with Goto wins this one. I could be wrong. This could be match of the night. So we're we're we got duct tape man and Naito versus Goto, most likely match of the night. You got David Finley versus Takahashi. Sorry, you got Tomatonga versus Chase Owens. Sorry, you got Lance Archer versus Bad Luck Fale. Sorry, 
And hopefully it'll be Finley, Tonga, Archer, and Goto winning. Maybe you get Naito. Naito is still crazy popular. And we got to get the most out of him, man. Got to get the most out of him. Anyway, that is the plan of attack. I got new glasses, and it feels great to be able to read. Like, a lot of times I'm like squinting. I'm like, what? What's going on? What's going on? But it's not. All right, so we'll be doing that at a watch party at Twitch. All right, A Block, you got Okada and Yano in first place. And Jonah and Jim Cobb. Why the fuck do foreigners still come to this fucking country? <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, why Brian Daniel and AEW guys coming to know the pan? <laughs> All right, there you go. That's fucking a thing. Uh, Jay White and Tai Chi are ahead of the B block with one win each. Ishii and Sonata find themselves behind. Uh, Aaron Hanare. I'm never going to say that guy's name right, am I? Uh, and Zack Sabre Jr. undefeated. Kenta and Tanahashi. Um, something that Rant and Review pointed out that I didn't. Guys, make sure to follow uh, Rant and Review. He's a good dude. He's covering that. And he, he, he's a lot smoother and also um, better at explaining what's going on where I'm more like yelling like an idiot. Eh, it is what it is. But yeah, he's a good dude. Um, but he brought up a good point that like Tanahashi and uh, right and, and Japanese people all predicted uh, Henare was going to win. I didn't because I was like, no, nah, no, nah, they won't do the same thing 800 times. Oh, they will. And uh, something that Rant and Review pointed out was that the fans just fucking moan. Like, ah, all right, fine. I guess fucking predictable is predictable. Uh, if upsets are predictable, are they still upsets? Uh, Will Ospreay and Juice Robinson, who could tell them apart? Who could tell them apart? Walking to the ring, who could tell them apart? In ring? Oh, definitely. But character-wise, booking-wise, what's the difference of the characters? Actually, one wears a leather jacket without sleeves. The other one wears a jacket with sleeves. <laughs> oh, holy fuck, boys. Holy, you fucking got me. You got me. Uh, El Fatasmo and Shingo are both 0-1. Listen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they have six fucking matches. Is this even a G1? This is the most Okada thing I've ever fucking seen in my life. Alpha Tosmo, I want you to go 0-6 because these matches will be fucking tremendous. You never have a good match when you win. I want you to go 0-6 so that I can enjoy your matches because when you lose, you try. When you win, you fucking don't lose. I'd rather you be 0-6 and me go, God damn it, look at Alpha Tosmo. Look at him. And then you go fucking four and four and have half a good matches or three and three. I don't know how fucking math works. So there you go. That's the D block. So there you go. Uh, overall, a little cranky, maybe. You guys a little positive? Definitely. Um, But yeah, overall, it is what it is. Night three will be up on Twitch.tv. Launch Go Go Sports. We'll be doing a watch party there. Um. You can watch it on New Japan Worlds. We will, and when I say watch party, we're not watching it. We are hanging out while watching it together. A lot of people are like, "Well, where is it?" I'm like, "Copyright is a thing. Copyright is a thing." But yeah, just hang out, shoot the shit. We watch uh, New Japan, Noah, DDT, Tokyo Yoshi Pro, sometimes Game Pro, AEW, Impact. Brawl USA, a bunch of indies that we're working with, and we're slowly but surely expanding. I even thought about doing Monday Night Raw. I, I didn't, but I thought about it. I was like, hmm. No. 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 If I can, if I, I'm cranky door New Japan. Oh, wait, who knows, though? I did like the Cody Rhodes match. It was the first match I've seen in forever. Are all the matches as good as Cody? I thought the announcers were pretty good in that match. I thought it was a good match. Is that is that what they do all the time? That's my question. The only match I've watched all year is the Cody Rhodes cage match. And I was impressed. Does WWE always have matches like that? Or at least somewhat to that level? Or is that like you only watch the one good match? Anyway, 
like, comment, subscribe. Tell all your friends the madman is back. And if like if yelling's not your thing and fucking ranting and raving's not your thing, check out Rant and Review. You know what's weird? Rant and Review is such a gentleman. It sounds like we have the wrong names. Like Rant and Review is like, welcome. And this is how the G1 works. And this is how this works. And I'm like, fucking Ogata! Fucking Ogata! Blah! <laughs> I think I think we should change names. You should be the sports guy, and I should be the ranting guy. Anyway, <laughs> guys, make sure to check out my boy. He's awesome. Um, we will be doing some Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the TikTok on Go Go Sports. And I'm enjoying retirement. I'm enjoying retirement. And listen, dude, listen, listen, listen. YouTube, probably the people that do this. If you're gonna say nasty ass shit about me, can you at least put it in the comments? I get tired of fucking DMs. Oh, you fucking ran away from Twitch. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You failed at YouTube, I guess. I don't know. Oh, you're going to fail at YouTube and go back to work. That's not how retirement works, man. Literally, if I fail at everything, I just hang out with my girlfriend. Do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> you're still you. <laughs> I think that's the worst insult. <laughs> All right, now listen, if you're going to say something mean, say it in the comments so that it helps the algorithm, you turkey asses. Fucking trolls getting all fucking smarter and fucking clever. Look at these clever son of bitches. Look at them. <laughs> anyway, I got off topic. I fucking love you dudes. With that, that's my new saying. I should just say with that and just click it off. With that, like, comment, subscribe. And with that, I can't stop. Once you, And the thing is, now that I noticed it, it doesn't even slow down. Usually, like, when you watch a video and you're like, man, I say, and with that, a lot. Okay, I'll fucking slow it down. And at the very end, it's like, and with that, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. And with that, I am over. Hey, boom, 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 boom.